In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a compression-based money scheme out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click subscribe down below. As we prepare for Madden 22, we have plans to do videos every single day that can help you get better in Madden uh, on both sides of the ball. And we're going to be doing that all throughout the Madden 22 season. So make sure you hit subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up via text message. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's 208-218-6900. And if you text the word Madden to 208-218-6900, that will get you signed up for my text message membership, which will allow you to be able to get access to all of my um, offenses and defenses that I released. We released over 20 to offensive and defensive guides in Madden 21, and we're planning to do even more in Madden 22. All right, guys, so we're talking about the gun tight in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook, and real quick before I go any further, I want to talk to you about a quick little promo about something that I've got planned for Madden 22, and that's my true fan membership. So my true fan membership is um, is basically it's five bucks a month. It's just five bucks a month, super cheap, and what you get in it is you get videos every single week that basically update you on the offensive meta or the defensive meta as well as the pro player uh, MCS circuit uh, content and strategies that they're using to win you know hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, every year playing Madden so that being said for my um, for my uh, true fan members my first Madden 22 ebook so the first guy that I release in Madden 22 on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball, you guys are going to actually get that for free. So if you join the True Fan membership today, uh, I leave the link in the description so you can do that. You'll be able to get my first Madden 22 ebook for free, in addition to all the content you're already going to be getting as a part of the True Fan membership. So if you haven't signed up for that, it's literally just five bucks a month. Um, that's that's I'm going to save you 25 bucks. Uh, if you sign up for that true fan membership uh, and I'm going to give you a ton of value with that. So if you want to get that, that's in the description. Let's talk about gun tight real quick and gun tight. This has been one of my favorite formations forever. I'm telling you this offense is so much fun to run. Um, it's so it's, it's really, really good against man to man. Um, and it all starts with this play bucks post. This is the best play in the formation. And it's the play that, you know, I like to call it the power play. It's the play that you, you must make go the play that you will make go and the play that you're going to want to run again and again and again. Now what's cool about compression is what we can do from motion. Uh, we can create spread on the left, just like that. We can also create a uh, spread on the right. If I motion out Evans, as you can see, I can create spread, uh, a spread concept just like that. Um, another way that I can do that though, is I can actually create compression bunch. Um, as you see here, I can create bunch to the right. I can also create bunch to the left. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why I really love this play. Now, first and foremost, I want to show what this does against man to man coverage. We're really not going to make any adjustments. Uh, I just want to show you what we're going to do. All we're going to do, the only adjustment that you have to make on this is just simply motion snap the square receiver all the way. And I mean, all the way out and right before he sets his feet, snap the ball. So all the way out, snap the ball. And what you're going to see here is he will sometimes beat man. That's more of an ability thing. If he has a good ability on him, then he'll be a little bit better against man to man. But really, he's not meant to beat man. He's more of a zone beater. Um, but what you're going to get is now, if we, as we read this, the best route on this play is actually um, this circle receiver. You're going to see he will always, he's beat man ever since I started using this play in Madden 13. So for literally eight years, this route has beat man to man every single time. Another way that you can run this play if you want to, um, and, and, and something that I really like, is motion out the circle receiver. So you'll see if I motion him out just a step, it gets him completely off the jam and it allows it to be a little bit more consistent. I mean, it is already really consistent, but it is just another little way that you can beat man to man from this. Now I want to show you um, the tight end route. The tight end route is so good. It doesn't... Um, the tight end route is so good for so many reasons. It's going to beat man. It's going to beat zone. It's going to force. It's going to give your opponent headaches. And really, the truth of the matter is, your opponent's going to have to user this. And what I like that this creates for me is a natural high low. You're going to see here that the user has to user the X. But if I motion snap that circle receiver out just a step, like that, what you're going to see is he is going to um, 
he is going to get off the jam and watch the timing you're going to get. You're going to get perfect timing. X crosses and then circle comes underneath. They can't defend both of them. It creates, ironically from a compression set, perfect spacing on the field. Which is interesting because most people don't run compression because the spacing is not good. And I'm here to tell you that it is. The other route that I really like is this running back route. Right when he cuts to the outside, this is the best route against the blitz in the game. And I'm very, very sure of that. So if they run pressure, if they run a blitz on you, just that one step motion and watch this running back just kill the blitz right there in that little alley. You get a block and you're going to go for about 30 to 50 yards every time. If they blitz you on this play, you should score uh, a touchdown probably five out of every 10 times. And you're going to get a big play every time. Watch zone coverage. I'm going to shift to zone blitz here. Just simple. You got a blocker in front of you. And as you can see, you're, you're in the open field. This is a very glitchy little table route. Um, it's one of the best that I've come across. Their user really has to sit on it, and the user can't sit on it because he can't sit on everything. So as you see here, you got a blocker. You can also do the air truck glitch, um, which I think actually will be good in Madden 22. You'll see that it'll actually still be effective. Um, but anyway, here, and then you're going for you know 10 to 15 yards. Um, right there was just five, but you see the idea. Okay, now let's get into some uh, setups. Uh, actually, one more. Let me show you one other thing about man coverage. Um, let me just go over shaded over man, shaded up. So if they run shaded up man, um, what you're going to see here is your circle receiver is going to not need to be motioned. So if you're getting a lot of shaded up man, you don't have to motion that circle receiver. It just frees you up to be able to motion somebody else. Um, the other thing is all your routes on the left side, or the right side, I'm sorry, uh, beat man to man. So let me just show you the left side. This square receiver, when he's not jammed, um, typically does do okay. Um, you see there, you can kind of lowball that. If that has a, if he has a little bit better route running, Brown doesn't have quite the best route running for what we're looking for. He also doesn't have any abilities. But if he has an ability, um, he's going to be just fine against man. So every route really beats man. Um, and if you if you don't like this route right here to square, um, what you can do is just put him on a curl. Um, if you want to, you can just put him on a curl, motion him out to the numbers, make sure he's on the numbers, really important. But you'll see here the curl uh, will be fine, and it still doesn't mess with any of the spacing that we've tried to that we've tried to kind of keep intact. The other route and the last route that I want to show you as far as man to man is this route to triangle. Um, this is a really good route for Chris Godwin or someone with an ability. Okay, it's not a great route if they don't have an ability. That's why we put our best receiver there in that position. Um, he's actually kind of the most important receiver, to be honest. Um, because he's going to be running all of the important routes in this scheme. And what you'll see here, and you can smart route this route, but you see here it's not going to go much shorter. Um, you know, you can smart route, you can smart route uh, his route though. But anyway, shade it off man. All you're going to do is let it get to the sideline, and then you're just going to basically outrun the player and make an easy catch. Okay, so let's talk about this play again zone. It's just as good against zone as it is against man. So typically out of zone coverage, this is what you're going to kind of get. You're going to get kind of a coverage that looks like this, and you're going to see a lot of zone. And this is a really good cover three beater. There's other ways um, that we're not going to talk about in this video that you can attack cover three. But one of the things, I just want to show it to you first and foremost, um, as we first showed you, and I want you to see this little motion out, out route. You're going to see that this gets really good separation against zone coverage. It's an automatic 10 yards. It really is. And what you're going to uh, see, it doesn't really matter who's on the zone. So, for example, oftentimes, um, if I put the slot corner on a purple um, to go out and get that out route, typically that will be a solution. With this one, again, and I can't stress enough, get this guy all the way outside. But all the way outside, and you'll see here that purple's not going to get out there, and you're going to throw it. So what you force them to naturally play by nature is you force them to play cover two. Well, they don't want to play cover two, pretty much guaranteed, can, can guarantee you that. So really where you're going to push them to is doing this adjustment right here. As you can see, this is a baseline look. And the reason why they're going to do that, they're going to need to do this is because they need the outside leverage to be able to stop this. This is why we want to run this with that corner route to the, or the, with the um, post route or the tight end to the short side. So now what you'll see here is if I try to motion this out, I just want to show you the route. Um, you see that seam flat, 
it it doesn't quite get it, but it, it kind of you know it's not it's not like um it's not necessarily that he's gonna stop it all the time, but it's something that they're gonna. I mean, that's kind of where it's gonna head. Um, another thing they might do is they might do something basically like this, where what they've done is they've basically manned him up. So you might see man to man coverage. And this is where uh, we start to kind of realize that we've really got them where we want them with this play. You'll see here man-to-man -man coverage. He still gets open. Um, he still gets open, honestly. Um, the best way they're going to have to do is they're going to have to play man. They can't play man because of that. And so now they're really caught in a no-win situation. Um, and what you're going to see is they're going to go to this Tampa 2. And typically, if someone runs Tampa 2, especially against compression, you're going to see that a lot of the time they are going to um, go ahead and basically uh, base a line. Okay, so if you get this look right here, this play is really what we want to be in because now they put so much energy into stopping square. I want you to watch triangle. Um, he's on a really deep corner, so I just pass lead him to the left. You click on, and as you can see, that gets over the top of a 30 yard cloud flat, even when that cloud flat is base aligned. And that really is the secret sauce of this play. Um, let me let me show you let me show you match coverage real quick. The reason I want to show you match coverage um, is because match coverage you're going to see that this is a little bit of a glitch, and this is one of the reasons why uh, match coverage is not a great strategy uh, against compression if you know what you're doing from compression. Most people when they run compression they don't actually know what they're doing, and that's where the problem really lies. They don't actually understand why these routes are getting open or they're not getting open. And they don't understand the rules of it. But what you'll see here is when I motion this guy out, kind of let him set, watch the triangle receiver, you see that it will be a one play touchdown every single time over the top. As long as that triangle receiver has really good route running or has an ability or has a lot of speed. That's really what you're looking for. So you see that not only are we able to beat, um, you know, not only are we able to beat cover two, cover three, uh, cover four with this these two routes right here, but we can literally beat every coverage in the game. We can beat one uh, match for a one play score every single time. Um, you'll completely glitch it out because it's a vertical stemming out route. And as you see there, we've created this concept. Now, uh, I do want to show you that this will also work even if you don't motion him out. So let's say you get a look like this and you don't motion him out. You'll see here because it's compression, it'll actually work exactly the same, just like that over top. And we're beating match coverage for a one play score every time. So this play is really good against man, it's really good against match, and it's pretty good against Mike Blitz 3. I'm going to shift back to that for just a second, and I want to give you one other little uh, breakdown. This is really the money play. There's probably three to five different ways that you can run this play from this formation uh, to create a lot of different passing concepts, uh, but really this is the best way to run it. But lastly, I want to show you, uh, you know, just kind of what happens on uh, a couple of the other routes on the play from the Cover 3 Mabel setup. So if you're getting cover through Mabel, um, let me just show you. Let me get the D set. There we go. And uh, now I want you to watch this triangle corner. Um, the triangle corner, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be very effective. Because um, you see here, see how that corner sits on it? It's more of an aggressive catch thing. Now, if you want to know how to get this thing to be effective, um, it's actually not too hard. All you need to do is have a vertical route. So basically what that looks like is if I take the um, square receiver that is on the underneath and put him on a streak, you're going to see here that now what we're going to create is basically a flood concept. And if you look, the triangle receiver gets wide open on the corner on the outside. So if, if this, is, this is something that is especially really good um, if you're getting like Tampa 2. If you're getting this Tampa 2 thing that people are wanting to run on you, uh, which I'm telling you right now, people will run and run this defense on you if you're in compression. Then what you can do, um, really simple, is just you run the same motion out, but now you're going to put him on a fade route. And what you've created is a traditional flood. And if you watch this triangle receiver, you're going to see that triangle receiver is going to get wide open on the sideline for a toe tap catch on the, on the out of bounds. So you're able to beat those coverages. Um, and then the last thing is the user is going to get really tied up on this left side um, or on the right side. I'm sorry. There's so much we can do on the right side. So it, it, and what the right side is, is it's basically levels. 
So you've got the table route, but then you've also got the circle route. The circle route is so good against zone. Um, it's so good against zone. Right when he cuts back over the middle, um, you're going to see that that tight end and that running back have created a ton of room for him to basically be able to get wide open. Um, their user, I guarantee you, if they know what they're doing, their user will run to the post. If they don't, watch this post route. You see you can throw it at multiple points. Um, I, didn't get, I didn't get a great pass lead by Brady there, but and I'll show it to you again. But anyways, the post is really a great route. Um, their user has to go to it. He really does. If their user starts to come down and really play on and sit on this uh, circle receiver, then what you're going to see is this post route is so wide open. I mean, you can just pass it up right there in the zone and make easy, easy, easy reads. So that's one way to run this play. We're going to show you some other ways to run this play going forward. But thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get... Um, again, real quick, if you want to get the, my first offense and my first defense for free, all you have to do is sign up for the True Fan membership today, and we'll actually release a private link to only our True Fan members once that guide is released. So we're actually going to give you that guide for free. Um, we're going to have that guide ready day one of Madden 22. So really, really excited for that. And if you have not signed up for the True Fan membership, there's a link in the description for you to be able to do that.